Hey everyone, and welcome back to Bleach Brave Souls. And today, guys, I want to do a comprehensive guide to accessories. Now, I know I've picked up a lot of new subscribers over the past few weeks because of the second year anniversary or because of other reasons. And uh, I'm assuming that there's quite a few of you out there who are kind of new to the game or, you know, have, don't really play as often as, you know, the rest of us. So this guide may prove useful to you. I'm going to attempt to go over everything you need to know about accessories. So it may be a little bit of a longer video, but I think it will be helpful to uh, some of the newer or um, less uh, hardcore players. All right. So first of all, I would like to point out that in the game itself, there is actually an accessory guide. If you go into the setting menu here and you just click on help, uh, there's all kinds of great information in this uh, help section. Uh, Caleb has done an excellent job of uh, you know detailing every aspect of the game in here. So I'd highly recommend that you flip through here. Uh, if you're looking for accessory information, just go to the accessory section. Um, it is a bit of a read, but um, it's very well organized and uh, every, almost everything you need to know will be in this section. So uh, if you don't want to watch this video, you just want to check that out, feel free, by all means, go ahead. Uh, it's also a good reference if you uh, if you forget something. All right, guys. So let's start with the first question. Uh, most people will have: Where do you get accessories? All right. Well, there's many places you can get accessories. Uh, number one, you can get them from quest drops by doing actual uh, missions. Uh, mostly, in particular, if you go to the special events, uh, almost every special event nowadays will drop accessories. Uh, usually, they're about they're one or two star accessories. Uh, raids, uh, raids will also drop accessories, uh, usually one or two star depending on the difficulty, and um, pretty much any special event, uh, this is, that's all there is uh, really to say about it. Um, the raids are a little bit more difficult, especially the five star ones, but if you do the, ha the hardest level of a five star raid, it can drop quite a, quite a large number of accessories. So I mean, if you are at the level where you can easily do uh, these legendary five star raids, that's probably the way to go for accessory drops. Um, keep in mind that as of the making of this video, there is no consistent way to um, to farm three star accessories, which you know is kind of a pain in the ass because the only way to get three star accessories are from accessory tickets, from actually summoning with orbs uh, via the shop, and I don't recommend that you guys waste orbs on uh, summoning accessories. Save your orbs for summoning characters. Unless you're an end game player, you know, you're really not, this is really not a great option uh, right here because it's 15 orbs for a single summon and 150 for an activate 10. And the odds, the drop rates of you getting a good accessory are not very high. So I recommend that you stay away from that. Uh, these accessory tickets here, usually you can farm them from any of the special events that are, you know, changing on a bi-weekly basis or whenever. Um, they'll usually drop a few here and there, and this is probably the best way to get three star accessories. Uh, it's probably the easiest. I mean, that's up for debate, because you could also do something called fusing, and I'll explain that in the next section. So, to sum up, where do you get accessories? Special events, uh, raids, and uh, just, uh, you could use the, uh, you could use the, the ticket machine here, uh, the accessory machine here, uh, which I don't recommend. And you can farm these tickets, and the tickets will also drop from special events as well. So special events, special events, guys. I would say for new players, focus on special events. And if you're good enough to do raids, you know, maybe go that route instead. But the, the events are definitely easier, and they're audible for pretty much any level, level of player. All right, so let's move on. Uh, the next topic, guys, how do you level these accessories? Uh, well, there's two methods, really. Um, you can use... Uh, other accessories to level up your main accessory that you're trying to focus on or you can farm these things called power hearts and I'll show you what I mean right here if we go into the my accessory uh, inventory uh, click on this icon right here accessories or inventory whichever and it should bring you to the screen right here and uh, uh, you can you can go from this screen I feel it's more convenient to go from the inventory screen uh, both will work but the inventory screen will give you a, I think, a better layout of what you have and what you uh, what you will need. So let's just do that instead. Um, here we see my accessories. Um, all right. So to level an accessory, let's go to uh, let's just show you all my stuff first. All all. And uh, let's just, for example, we'll take uh, 
Now it takes, it took me a while to get to this point guys. So don't, uh, don't be too daunted by what you see on my screen. Uh, I have over 500 days of login, uh, login time or gameplay time for this game. So, I mean, you know, I, I have put in the necessary work to get this far. Um, all right. So for example, say you want to level up an accessory. Well, here you go. Just pick your accessory, uh, click on fuse and here is where you do it. There's an option strengthen and evolve and we'll get to evolve in the next section. So strengthen, click on strengthen and here you can use other accessories to level up your main accessory. Uh, for example, as I'm doing here, I do not recommend that you ever use three star accessories to level up anything. Uh, they're too valuable and uh, I will tell you why in the next section, but keep all your three star accessories. No matter how worthless you think they are, uh, they are use useful uh, for things called fusions. Um, anyway, so usually you want to use one and two star accessories. I don't believe I actually have any of these. <laughs> Maybe I do. Uh, the sorting feature is great, but if you don't have one or two star accessories, I might be out of luck here uh, to show you this, guys. Uh, apparently I don't. So um, just, just use your imagination. Uh, one and two star accessories are good for leveling anything. Um, one star accessories, I don't recommend it either because it's not very cost effective. Uh, it does cost quite a bit of gold, and e even though gold is easy to get through few, uh, through the coin event, um, it's yeah. Unless you have a lot of it, maybe don't don't prioritize using one star accessories to level. Uh, I, I mean, that's up to you. That's a pers personal choice. Uh, you can do whatever you like, uh, depending on how much gold you do have. You know, I, I, you you can decide for yourselves. Um, all right, so that's the one way to level accessories. You can also use these things called power hearts and power hearts you can farm from uh there's a variety of ways to get power hearts you can do the special events like i said before and those are the events that come out you know every other week uh, you can also do fusion trials and these are the co-op missions that are uh, color-coded co-op missions and they drop uh, things called powders and books as well so they're great for farming uh accessories and you get some other benefits from those co-op quests as well they're very, relatively easy and uh, there are always people doing them. So that is one, one way to get hearts. Um, pretty much that's it. There are other like less frequent events uh, that are kind of harder, like the, uh, the extreme co-op and the, uh, the inheritance mode. Um, but that's not really something that a beginner should be getting into or a uh, casual player should be getting into right away until you actually are at the level where you can be a contributing member of your group or you can do the uh, solo missions relatively, you know, competently. So anyway, uh, so once you max out accessories, guys, and I don't recommend, I actually don't recommend that you max out two star accessories either, um, unless you intend to eventually use them for fusions. Uh, I feel it's more effective to go straight to three star accessories. Uh, you know, depending on how many tickets you can farm, this is another thing guys, it's it's up to you personally what route you want to go. There are various options. You can level, max level uh, two star accessories and then perform a fusion on two of these items to create a three star item. And uh, I guess we might as well talk about fusions right now. That is what fusions are about guys and I will show you one right now. Uh, fusions are combining two maximum level accessories into one accessory of the next uh, rarity. So. You would fuse two max level two star accessories together to create a three star accessory. Uh, you would fuse two three star accessories max level to create a four star accessory. Um, and that is pretty much it, guys. Uh, you cannot fuse two four stars into a five star accessory. That is a totally separate topic. Um, so if, if we wanted to show you a fusion, if I want to show you a fusion right now, I'll have to find some three star accessories. And I should be using the sort feature, but I'm not because... Um, I don't know why, but here, let's pick one. Let's take this one. I have a couple of these. Uh, we will fuse them uh, using this menu here, strengthen. And uh, we'll just use a bunch of hearts here. Uh, I'll just, uh, for the sake of this video, I'll just do it very quickly. Um, here we go. So, I mean, try to, when you're, when you're using your hearts, uh, try to use, you know, use them smartly. Use like a couple of three stars, a couple of two stars, and then finish it off with one stars. It's just more efficient that way. Hit evolve. And uh, that should bring this Shinten to the max level. Uh, now, to fuse this Shinten, I will need another max level accessory. So we have to go back here. Uh, we actually didn't have to go back there, but <laughs> I already did it. So 
Anyway, let's sort it this time. We'll go with three-star accessories. And uh, we'll pick another item. The item type you, you pick doesn't matter, guys. It's totally random. Uh, some people say that, you know, if you combine like this item with this item, you'll have a higher chance of getting a chappy. Uh, it's not really true, guys. Not true at all, I mean. Uh, it's totally RNG. So pick whatever you have extras of and uh, just roll with it. So let's level this guy up. Uh, sorry, here we go. Try to try to be efficient with my heart usage. And here we go. So I now have two max level items, three star items, that I can fuse into a four star item. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, we'll pick my three star here and we'll click evolve. So remember these accessories do have to be a max level guys. And we, have, we will select this item to fuse as well. So this is a uh, this is a two Shintens max level, and we can press evolve here. So that's all there is to fusion, guys. Uh, it is quite you know it's a little bit of grinding, uh, but the more you play the game, the more uh, you know you'll just accumulate these items naturally. So there we go. We've evolved the two max level three star accessories into a four star uh, random item, which in this case is a red headband of justice. So. That's pretty much the way you get 4 star items guys. Um, there's no real trick to it, there's no secret to it. Uh, it's totally random so you will end up doing a lot of these fusions to get the items you want. Um, like I said, I have over 500 days playtime in this game so that is why I have so many 4 star and 3 star and 5 star accessories. Uh, it's just the grind guys, there's no way around the grind. Alright, so there's another topic to discuss as well. Uh, if you would like to uh, to keep the item type, they they have these uh, these special items called immutable balls, <laughs> and uh, these are these are used to uh, these are used to or here they are. These items are used to maintain the type of accessory during a fusion. So I'll show you what I mean. If I want to fuse a if I want a four star experience book. We'll do it this way. First I'd have to max level this experience book and we'll just do that real quick. Uh, here we go. We'll need another item to fuse it with. Okay. So we'll just fuse it with this because I have extra. And here we go. that and now we have our two items set all right so say I wanted to evolve that book I just created just pick it select it from the the menu on the right I'll press evolve okay now we can do a regular fusion now if I press evolve right now we will get a random four-star accessory totally random but if I want to keep the book and just make it a four-star book I can use an immutable ball. And these things can be available randomly through uh, special events. You can also purchase them in the PvP metal exchange shop, guys. So those are the two ways you get these items. And if I select the immutable ball, and then I press evolve, it'll give me a prompt here. If I press okay, it'll show you what the result will be, the end result. So I will get a four star orange accessory book. Now this is a great way to get guaranteed specific items, but keep in mind guys that not every item has a four star version. Things like uh, gloves, gokentekos, or uh, shintens, or uh, cookies, they do not have four star versions. So you will not be able to use this method on those items. However, things like uh, hojiku's eyes, experience books, uh, watches, uh, these incomplete Hogyokus, uh, headbands, there's a lot of items that can be taken to 4 star using this method. So just keep that in mind guys, not every item can be made a 4 star. Uh, and uh, you, you can go through the accessory list. Uh, it won't actually let you use an immutable ball on an item that cannot be created to a 4 star. So you know, you just figure it out, just test it out. Alright, so anyway, that should about cover uh, fusions of all kinds. Uh, I recommend that 
you save all your three star accessories for fusions. It's really the only reliable way to get four star and five star accessories. Uh, fusing two star accessories, yeah, it's up to you. Uh, in, the, in the beginning of the game, it may be useful to level up two stars. And if you don't get enough three star accessories via tickets, um, you may want to consider fusing two stars together as well. Um, it really depends on your resources and your, your preferences. All right, guys. So that should, about, uh, that should about cover all of the fusions and the uh, mutable balls, how to level accessories, and where to get accessories. All right, so once you reach the point in the game where you have four-star accessories, the next step is taking these four-star accessories to five-star. And ideally, at the end game, you want to have five-star accessories like I have here. You want to have like a lot of five-star accessories with different, uh, different uses. Uh, it does take a while to get this, to this point, uh, there is no way around the grind, and uh, keep in mind that this will not, you will not get here overnight. So in order to create a 5-star accessory, you will need a couple of different things. Uh, I will show you right now um, the process. So uh, I do have some 4-star red accessories that can go for an evolution. And uh, let's just use this red headband for example. So we click on the red headband, and we click Fuse. Now, once we do that, we, can, we have to max out the headband. And uh, you can do this with either accessories here. Like I said, do not use three star accessories to level up items. Uh, or you can use power arts, which is probably the easier way to go. Now, um, here we go. I'll just use a bunch of these three stars and a, maybe a couple of two stars. Wait. Yeah, we want to go with this. And um, we'll just get that done. You will need to max the accessory out to evolve it to a five star item. All right, so that being done, it will return us to this screen here, and we can now click the Evolve button. So go ahead and click that, guys, and it will show you, it will show you what you need. Uh, so you will need 10 of these powders and one uh, Book of Secrets. Uh, that is the name of the items you will need. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have one right now, um, and that's kind of a preview into what this grind is like. It is very difficult to get the books these days. Um, they're a random drop from co-op fusion trials. And, uh, you know, there's no way around this grind either, guys. You have to grind the fusion trials. Um, sometimes there will be other events that drop uh, books as well. But uh, primarily the fusion trials will be the way to get books and powders. And this is a co-op method. So you'll have to do co-op in order to get these items. Um, co-op here. If we scroll to the bottom, there will be a fusion trial, um, and it will change on a daily basis. And uh, you will have to do the color that corresponds to the accessory you want to evolve. So red is out today. So I'm gonna have to need. I'm gonna need to grind red until I get a book of secrets. Uh, unfortunately, but here we go. Usually go for the level 100. Now depending on what what your uh, where you are in the game. Like if you have a 150 character, you definitely want to go with the level 100. And you just want to grind them. Grind them until you get the items you need. There's no other way around it, guys. Unfortunately, I wish I could tell you a shortcut, but you have to do fusion trials. And for many endgame players, fusion trials are the bane of our existence. Um, all right, so that is the deal. Now, once you have the required materials, we can go back into the accessory. Let's pretend I had that book and um, <laughs> you'll press the evolve button and it will take your accessory to a five-star accessory of the same type. So this four-star headband will go to a five-star headband. And when it goes to five-star, it will have a random secondary effect right here. Uh, let me show you that now. Uh, we'll, just, we'll just pretend I fused it and uh, <laughs> we'll move on. So when you do that, you'll have a pretend this is the item that we evolved. All right. so. We'll take a look here. It will have a random secondary effect here. Now this one is terrible. This is a good example because a Yuki takes your focus to zero and I got a effect of focus plus 20. So this does nothing. This does no improvement. And it will need a reroll. Let's talk about that. That is the next step and final step for your evolution process for creating the perfect accessory. And the only way to change the secondary effect on an item Let's uh, take this item here, for example, is to press this reroll secondary effect. Now, what you will need to reroll this effect here 
is another five star item. So you put this item in here and um, you click the reroll button and it will bring you up the prompt and you will then get a random secondary effect again. Uh, I'm not going to actually do it here because I want to keep that red Yuki. So that's pretty much it for re-rolling guys. It's a long process. You have to create the five star accessory that you want to use for fodder. Um, ideally you want it to have like a crap secondary effect. You know, if you get a, if you get a roll on a five star accessory, accessory with 30 attack or 30 SP, I would recommend that you keep that item no matter what it is, uh, unless it's like a, a Yuki with 30 focus or a Chappie with, you know, 30 spiritual pressure. Uh, I believe that in the future they will be uh, reducing the amount of secondary effects you can get so that you cannot physically get spiritual pressure on a Chappie, for example. And uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, guys, don't worry about it. It's not really that important right now. But um, yeah, the undesirable secondary effects are soon going to be eliminated from the pool of possible secondary effects on on five-star items. All right, so that should cover re-rolling. Uh, I believe I did a good job explaining it. Uh, there are also these things called editing brushes. Uh, unfortunately, these are very difficult to come by. They only drop in something called Extreme Co-op. And if you're doing Extreme Co-op, you already know what, what, the, what these are. Uh, you can also buy them from the metal exchange shop, but they cost a lot of metals. And I, yeah, I don't think it's worth it. I don't think you guys should do it. Uh, just use five star accessories to re-roll. Um, the grind is very real, uh, unless you're an end game player. Uh, you know, ma making five star accessories isn't a very easy process. Uh, it has become easier because they have made uh, power hearts that I spoke of earlier, the black items. Uh, easier to come by so it has gotten quite a bit easier than it was in the past so anyway whew, that was a lot guys a lot of information to process like I said you can go over all that information uh, in the help menu itself in the game um, or you can just rewind this video to the appropriate section so Hopefully I covered everything guys. Let me know in the comments if I missed anything. Um, certain items can only be acquired in this manner. Uh, chappies, for example. I mean, the only way you can get chappies is to randomly fuse them with two three-star accessories, to pull them on an accessory ticket, or to use spirit orbs to do summonings in the shop. Um, certain items, two in particular, the golden chappie and the uh, upgraded Cerate bulletin that gives you a huge XP boost. Those items can only be pulled from tickets or from orb summonings in the shop. All right, guys, so take a look at the uh, in-game accessory screen. Uh, there's some great uh, great information on accessories on bravesouls.fyi if you wanna know what accessory does what. I'll link that in the description so you can see like, what does a spirit core do? What does a Yuki do? What does a Pupples do, etc., etc. I'm not gonna go over that here. And uh, like I said, check out the in-game help as well. So. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope it helped. Uh, it's a huge topic, and uh, you know, just yeah. you know, I mean, don't don't stress out too much over it. You'll learn it as you play the game naturally. All right. Once again, thanks for watching, everyone, and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.